Hey, what's going on? So I'm super excited. It is the first plow day of the season. It is January 7th, 2022. And this is the latest, I think, that I've probably started plowing for the season. And we don't even have that much. We've got maybe two to three inches of light, fluffy snow, but it's just enough that I gotta go plow. So anyway, I'm gonna go hook up my plow and get ready to go. I got my stuff ready to go. Piper was sitting by the door a minute ago. She knows what's going on. She's ready, so <laughs> we're ready to go. Piper, are you ready to go plow? Huh? Are you ready to plow? Do you know what that means? You wanna go plow? Wanna go for a ride? Oh, yeah! You ready? Go for a ride? Come on. Now that Piper's loaded up, I'm gonna clean off the truck and get the plow cleaned off. And then I'm gonna pull up to the plow to hopefully get it lined up, which I did. So I'm pulling the wires out of the truck, get them hooked up, push it in, lock it on, test the plow, make sure it's working, grab the boards off the ground, lean them against the shed. If you're wondering why I have boards under the plow, I did a video about that. So I will put a link for that in the video description as well as a card up top. Now to plow. I'm going to show you this in real time. If you've never seen plowing, if you don't know how to plow, I'll try to explain it. Uh, my driveway is super steep in the front, so there's a sidewalk here. I drop my plow and I back blade it into the road. From the sidewalk down to the road is paved, and then from the sidewalk the rest of the way up is gravel. So because it's so steep, my plow hits about halfway up this paved part before you get to the sidewalk. Listen, right here. Boom. And then the plow doesn't touch till right there, right about where the stairs are. Uh, because after you go up the steep part, it flattens out. So for this first wipe, I've got it in a dog ear, which means the left side's on an angle, the right side is flat on my V-plow. So that keeps it away from the trailer, but doesn't push it all, all the way over to the right, kind of helps scoop it and push it forwards. Now I'm gonna back blade in front of my trailer, which is where Trisha parks. If my trailer wasn't there, then my driveway's two cars wide all the way back to my shed. But anyway, I'm going to put the plow in straight and do this first swipe here. And just drop it right there, try not to back into my neighbor's car. Then I'm going to swing the plow to the left a little bit, which helps push it all to the right. And just get that little bit that was left behind between the two swipes. Stop right there, back up a little past the pile put it back into the dog ear and push that all the way back. This time I'm gonna try to get close to the trailer. I'm also gonna swoop a little bit to the left, get a little bit farther over after the trailer. Pile that right there. And then the last thing I gotta do is the last swipe on the right side. I'm gonna put it in full scoop mode for this. If it was really deep, I wouldn't be able to do this, but it's only like two or three inches of powder. So it's really not a whole lot of snow. And again, I'm going to drop it down here on the sidewalk and it will not hit the driveway until right there, you can hear it. So I'll scoop all of this, get as close to my neighbor's car as I can, and push that back. So that's it. That's how I plow my driveway in real speed. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. I probably should have done Trisha's spot first and then plowed the rest, but I just wasn't really thinking this is the first time I've plowed this season, so my brain's not fully into it yet. <laughs> and uh, that would have saved me one pass, basically. So it's all about efficiency, how many passes you can save. And so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. And subscribe to the channel for more plowing videos this winter. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.